welcome back to the channel. What we've got here today is a watch which has been sent in uh, by uh, a guy called Matty S, uh, who's uh, a, a, a very good supporter of the channel. Uh, follow him on Instagram as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, please head over to Instagram. His handle on it there is Matty S. He's got a great collection. Uh, he's a great guy. So uh, head over there and give him a follow. And uh, thank you very much, Matt. I really appreciate you sending this in. This is actually a really cool watch. Um, it is by a brand called Iron Annie, who were previously known as uh, Junkers. Um, the license expired on the use of the name, so they then reverted, or changed, I should say, to Iron Annie. And Iron Annie, um, that, that uh, refers to an aircraft, the uh, Junkers JU-52, which was a tri-motor aircraft used extensively by the Luftwaffe in the Second World War and post-war by pretty much everyone else, uh, because it was... Uh, really tough and very reliable so there we have it inside the box in the lid there you get your warranty card and your instruction manual kind of pretty usual uh, this is quite a nice effect here which is what the outer skin of the aircraft would have looked like or does look like because they're still being used today uh, for basically pleasure flights but there we go um right we'll just slide that off of there and then we'll open this up so that we can uh, get into this watch and have a look. We will begin with some sizes as always. We've got a case size of 42 millimeters, including the crown, it's 46.2. We've got a fairly substantial a lug to lug of 52 millimeters, a thickness of 11.6 millimeters, and that includes that uh, domed sapphire crystal. Uh, we have a lug width of 22 mil and an overall weight of 82 grams on the supplied leather strap. Construction of the watch is all 316L stainless steel, predominantly brushing. Uh, we'll just zoom in a bit on there and we'll have a look at what that's like. Uh, done to a very good standard, that's nice and smooth, you can't feel anything there at all. No sharp edges either, it's really done really nicely. Now we've got a chamfered edge which starts at the very tip of the lug and goes right the way across the case down to the tip on the other lug then back to brushing and then the same on the other side that high polished chamfered edge everything else being brushed and that brushing as I said I think that's done to a really really nice standard. Uh, the dial is uh, everything on there is printed so we've got a printed minute track around the outside and then you've got uh, your arabics which are basically for your seconds counter so that for your sec so you can follow your seconds hand we've got the iron annie logo at 12 o'clock and within the iron annie logo uh, is the traditional pilots triangle inverted triangle which is part of their logo then uh, moving in, you've got uh, the uh, 1 to 12 around the uh, the inner hour track. We've got a date window, which is color matched at the 6 o'clock position, then automatic and made in Germany. This watch is indeed made in Germany, and it has a Swiss movement in it. Uh, the movement inside here is the ETA 2824, which is 28,800 vibrations per hour, which is why you're getting that nice smooth sweep on that seconds hand and uh, we have hacking and hand winding obviously and um, I did put this uh, on my little time grapher app and uh, there's been one or two people again have said stop using it well no so I'm going to run the footage because it's cool see you on the other side of that So there we have it. We have a beat error of 0.7 seconds and uh, running at around about plus four seconds per day. Uh, now, whatever you think of that app, it's it's pretty close, actually. It's not that far out. So, yeah, I am going to keep using it. Uh, so <laughs> we've got, as I said, we've got hand winding on that movement. And uh, you bring it out to the first position. It's the usual thing. Uh, you bring it out to one and then you can change your date, pull it out to the second position the movement will hack and uh, you can change the time. Let's just wind that over 
and have a look and see where the date changes. We should be fairly close to midnight, so keep your eye on the six o'clock position. Here we go. Oh, well, that was quick. Bang. And that's two minutes to midnight. Uh, so, yeah, we'll wind that on, bring it round to uh, a little more of a, a friendly time. Uh, here we go. Bring somewhere around there. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's all good. All good. Uh, we we'll flip the watch over and we can see we have an exhibition case back, screw down case back. Everything is brushed made in Germany, sapphire crystal, water resistant to 50 meters, which is your five atmospheres, all stainless steel. And this is your model number here. Uh, and as you can see, they've got that, uh, they've kind of done the gold thing with the rotor, which is an interesting touch. Uh, the uh, leather strap on this, and uh, it's, uh, as you can see, fine calfskin, handcrafted, uh, plenty of adjustment holes. Um, and it is actually, it's actually a really nice strap, fits very well. And I know that, uh, that Matty has been wearing this, so it's, uh, it, is, it is bedded in. Um, we've got a uh, signed uh, tang buckle on the other end, um, all kind of re very nice. The only thing I would say is that is high polished. It would be better, I think, if it was brushed to match the rest of the case. I think that that would be pretty cool. Uh, right, Loom. Now, as we know, these pilot watches are usually pretty good. Uh, so this one, I, I can pretty much tell you, is no different. It's very, very good indeed. Uh, so we'll just give that a quick charge, and then we will drop the lights down. There we go. Now, those of you that follow me on Instagram have already seen this, and you've seen it at the beginning of the video as well in a still. And uh, yes, it does last all night. The indices, obviously, they fade out a little quicker, especially the ones on the inner circle, on the hour markers. Uh, the ones around the outside, around the minute track, they do last fairly well, pretty much as, lo as long as the hands, but the hands obviously the last thing to go. My only criticism of that if I have a criticism, is that the second hand doesn't have a loomed tip on it, which I think would have been very useful, uh, especially as a pilot's watch. So, yeah, a bit like having a bit of loom on the end of your diver's second hand, same sort of thing, really. So, yes, that would be my criticism of that if I have one. The only other thing that I've found uh, for me personally is this onion crown, as good as it is, is actually it's very very sharp on the edges so when you're winding it or if you're winding it by hand you definitely feel it uh, so yeah what i found what i was doing is uh, winding it so it was enough and then just letting the movement of my arm throughout the day keep it going so yes there we go uh, price wise uh, the, re the retail on these is uh, around about 450 GBP and uh, you can pick them up. I believe that Jura watches have gotten currently for about 320 ish. Um, so yeah, I mean, do I recommend the watch? Absolutely, 100%. It's, uh, it's very, very well made, apart from the two little gripes that I had about the uh, no loom on the seconds hand. It's not a deal breaker for me and you know it's the the, the sharpness on there i kind of get that really because the whole thing's designed to be able to be used uh, with pilot gloves on so yeah i get it it's fine um so yes there we go that is the iron annie cockpit 51562 um rather a cool pilot swatch and uh, not the uh, kind of really big kind of 44 45 mil at 42 mil it's very very wearable so yes thank you again matty for uh, sending this in really really appreciate your support and uh, yes please head over and follow him on instagram but that's it for now that's all i've got for you for today um please like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and all the rest of it comment down below and uh, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Cheers for now.